Magpaalang araw po ng linggo sa inyong lahat. Today is uh, July 10, 2022. Ipagpatuloy po natin ang karugtong ng ating uh, iniwan ng uh, series, God's Prosperity Plan. At dito po tayo sa God's Prosperity Plan na kung saan itinuturo po ito ang Give to the Needy. In the book of Proverbs 14 verse 21, mga kapatid, It is a sin to despise one's neighbor, but blessed is the one who is kind to the needy. At ang sabi po, in the book of Acts chapter 20 verse 35, mga kapatid, In everything I did, I showed you that by this kind of hard work, we must help the weak. Remembering the words of the Lord Jesus himself said, It is more blessed to give. than to receive the word of God. Dito po sa buhay natin, maraming irony. Yung irony po, yung uh, the reverse of what is expected, isa po itong uh, literary term, irony. Meaning, we reach the east by sailing west. Yan po ang ginawa ni Machilan. We die to live. We need to die to ourselves in order to live in Christ. Ganon din po ang sinabi na we are becoming prosperous when we give to the needy. Mga kapal, the way we relate to others affects three parties. Ang apektado po ang tatlong uh, mga partido, ang Diyos sa langit, those around you, and your own life. Halimbawa, kapag ikaw po ay cruel, ikaw po ay harsh, ikaw po ay selfish or violent towards others, nagkakasala tayo laban sa Diyos, masasakta natin ang mga nangangailangan at uh, tayo mismo ay magiging miserable. Ngunit kapag tayo ay gentle, tayo ay mabait, tayo ay kind, giving at protective sa ibang mga tao, lalo na sa mga needy or nangangailangan, we honor the God of heaven, we put joy in the hearts of others, at ang ating matatagpuan ang ligaya para sa ating sarili. Ito po ang rule na sinabi ng Proverbs 14 verse 21. Yan. So mga kapatid, ang first commandment po, alam na po natin ito, is to love God, the Creator of heaven, the God of the Bible, to love Him with all our heart, our mind, our soul, and also our strength. So ang uh, second commandment, Brother Robert at uh, Sister Jolly and Dr. Ted, the second commandment is to love your neighbor, as much as you love yourself, Brother uh, Jumel, kapag inibig natin ang ating neighbor, ang needy, we also love God. Dahil He created our neighbor, the needy, and brought Him across our path when we need our assistance. Yan po ang sinasabi at katuruan ng Biblia. So God will bless us, mga kapatid, kapag tayo po ay careful, forgiving, honest, loving, and patient toward our neighbors. So, God will judge and punish us kapag tayo naman po ay hurtful, tayo ay malicious, overbearing, strict, or vindictive to them. So, ang Christianity, mga kapatid, creates the highest motivation to love those you meet. Dahil ang kaibahan sa pagitan ng happy and blessed life at ang isang miserable at troubled life ay ang siguradong result nito. So, if you want to become prosperous, you must give to the needy. Ito po ang katuroan ng Biblia sa Acts 20.35 that it is more blessed to give than to receive. Ang tanong ko sa inyo, mas uh, madali ba sa inyo ang magbigay o ang magtanggap? Sa totoo lang, sa buhay nating normal na tao, mas pinipili pa natin ang makatanggap kaysa magbigay. Pero ito po ang katuroan ng Panginoon, it is more blessed to give dan to receive. So dito sa isang uh, covid to, sa isang greedy, sa itang isang selfish world, napakahirap paniwalaan o imagine mga kapatid that loving others can bring happiness. 'Di ba? Napaka-impossible po ito sa human perspective. Ngunit ito po ang itinuturo ng Biblia at itinuturo po ng Book of Proverbs 14:21 at Acts 20:35 at si Jesus Cristo at Pablo confirm this fact. Ayun pa sa Sinabi niya sa Acts 20.35, it is more blessed to give than to receive. So, we must believe this rule or live and die miserably. 
Nung itinanong po ni Kristo ang isang lawyer dyan sa Biblia tungkol sa definition ng neighbor, alam mo yung mga lawyers, uh, usually they nitpick about definition to avoid the responsibility. So, ang sagot ng Panginoon ay ang tungkol sa story of the Good Samaritan na kung saan ang Samaritan kina ibigan niya at tinulungan ang isang sugatang hudyo at great convenience and expense. Kahit hindi magkasundo ito mga hudyo at mga Samaritans, mga kapatid, this noble man showed kindness where the Jews own countrymen had not. So, ang main lesson po ni Solomon dito sa Proverbs 14.21 is how you view and treat poor neighbors. Yung mga taong hindi nila kayang makabenefit sa inyo. Uh, or makabenefit sa inyo or hindi nila kayang uh, magiging uh, may maitulong sa inyo mga kapatid. So it is uh, sinful human nature to despise the poor at baliwalain ang kanilang mga pangangailangan blaming them for their misfortune which may or may not be true. So, ang taong tumulong sa isang uh, legitimately poor neighbor, ayon sa Biblia, will be blessed by God and man in, in his own soul. Brother Drexel Develos. Now, whatever we have, anuman ang meron tayo, it was given to us by God. And the difference between you and the needy or others is the choice of God. 1 Corinthians 4.7 Therefore, uh, ito po ay isang uh, parang karumaldumal. It's profane spite for us to glory over others. Ang Diyos po ay ayon sa Proverbs 22 verse 2, God has made both rich and poor. At ang ating treatment of the poor reflects our relationship with God. Proverbs 14.31 So it is wisdom to honor God by giving or helping the needy. So the happiness of helping others, mga kapatid, I extend on the judgment day. Di ba? Alam po ninyo sa Matthew 25.31 to 46, sabi niya, uh, gutom ako, sabi ni Jesus, ngunit pinakain niyo, uh, napilanggo ako, binisita ninyo, Uh, nauhaw ako, pinainom nyo ng tubig. Sabi na, Lord, kailan po nangyari yan? Sabi niya, whatever you do to others, you did to me. So, uh, yan po ang ating tandaan na it will continue on judgment day. So, sana po sa araw na ito, tandaan po natin, why is it blessed to give than to receive? Because una, uh, giving kills self-centeredness. Kapag ikaw po ay mapagbigay, yung pagiging selfish, pagiging self-centered, pagiging egocentric uh, brother uh, Richard, mawawala sa inyo. That is why you are blessed when you give than when you receive. Secondly, giving uh, removes the love of money. Yung pag-ibig sa salapi, mawawala. Pag kayo ay mapagbigay, it is more blessed to give than to receive because joyful giving expresses our happiness, Sister Joe Paredes, and contentment found in the promises of God. So, kapag tayo ay magbigay to the needy or to other people, we uh, entrust all resources that God provided. Uh, tayo po, i-entrust natin sa Panginoon to God to use us, He wills. So, ito pong cheerful, content giving removes our love of money and the things uh, and seeks to love God first. So, what do you have to give? Binigyan tayo ng Diyos ng buhay and godliness. He has provided uh, us with resources to bless others. Sana po, we can give our time, we can give our possessions, sana po, we can give our finances because the Lord loves cheerful giver. Ito po ang heart condition, not an obligation. We should give from the joy in our hearts because God has given to us. Um, what does it mean to be a cheerful giver according to 2 Corinthians 9, 16, 10? Yan po ang dapat natin tandaan ng mabuti. So, if you want to become prosperous, give to the needy. Tayo po ay manalangin, Father in Heaven, Lord, thank you. Thank you once again that we have the opportunity to listen to you. 
May everyone who is watching this video will be blessed with generosity and knowing that it is more blessed to give than to receive. This is our prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen.